Hi again. Um, so I realized that through this whole new journey that I'm trying to create of uh, living with an Alzheimer's patient and dealing with everything involved, I didn't tell you my whole standpoint in all of this. I didn't give you the details. I should have, and now I am. Uh, and anyways, uh, again, my name is Alexis, um, and I just, I just want to help. Um, I want people to know that I'm there for them. If you have a relative who's going through this, um, a parent, a grandparent, uh, a, geez, a sibling, an aunt, an uncle, a friend, anybody, that you can come to me and I can help you, uh, because I'm pretty knowledgeable on what's going on with, um, this disease and having lived with my grandma, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, just feel free and I would love to hear from anyone and find out what's going on with you and, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, I'll be there. So, uh, okay. So, anyways, my grandma. Um, let me say, she, uh, is a pretty amazing lady. Um, she's had to put up through a lot in her past years. Uh, she grew up during the war, World War II. Uh, she, uh, had to run away from Mussolini in Italy, and her family and her fled to Benghazi, Africa, where they lived, and my grandma had to help um, her mom take care of a lot of her younger siblings, and my grandma's the oldest, and uh, I really admire her for that, for having stuck everything out through war when bombs are blowing up everywhere around you, literally. Um, and, uh, you know, to, to use, she has always been the most caring person unselfish person. I remember growing up with her when I was younger because I would come here to this house um, because it's her house and uh, I would come here when I was little and um, she'd be like, Alexis, what do you want to eat? And she'd go make me lunch um, whenever I wanted. She also was employed at Disneyland and she would always get us, me and um, my siblings and my cousins, she'd always get us gifts and she was just the kindest, most generous person I ever knew, and she's probably like one of the most beautiful women that I know in the whole world, having to put up with what she did, and I just think she's awesome, and I'm really proud to call her my grandma, and I'm really glad to be called her granddaughter, and having to live with her and care for her, I don't think I would ever change this experience for anything. Um, it has been very hard. It's been very hard on me, um, on my family, uh, and on her. It's not an easy disease to live with, um, and that takes a lot of patience. Uh, but, you know, sometimes God puts you in a situation and you just have to learn that it's there for a reason. And, um, whatever God's reason was to put my family and me here, uh, it's definitely changed me as a person, I can tell you that. Um, and again, I wouldn't take it away for anything. Um, and I'm really glad that I've had this opportunity to care for her. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, um, okay. So, four years ago, uh, it was my freshman year of high school, like the summer. Uh, that was when my grandma was going through the stages of dementia. Um, mind you, Alzheimer's disease is the last stage. It goes dementia and then Alzheimer's disease. Um, and Alzheimer's is pretty much the nerves kind of losing their connection, being almost eaten away at, they are just breaking down, um, usually in a lot of cases there's a lot of plaque buildup in the head um, when you have a lot of that, or metals 
for example, like aluminum, aluminum from um, the aluminum cans, uh, when you have a lot of lead, which you can find in like sink water. So don't drink sink water because there's lead. Grody. Um, when you find a lot of that, that just gets sucked up to the brain and it starts eating away at all the nerves. So mm -mm, don't. Because as soon as those nerves start going down, everything else just kind of shuts off. Everything cognitive, everything physical, mental, it's no more. So um, you really got to be careful what you're putting inside your body because it really has an effect on your brain. It really does. Um, okay, so four years ago we decided to uh, move in. Um, my grandma was in maybe her like seventh stage of dementia, uh, and it wasn't bad. Where she was at wasn't definitely not what it is now, because um, again, dementia is just what leads, it's the stages that leads up to Alzheimer's, and I believe there's eight stages of dementia. And uh, <clears throat> so it leads up uh, to Alzheimer's. Um, so we moved in, and I just remember being, um, she was, she wasn't bad. Oh, I know I said that already, but, um, she would just forget simple things. Um, she would forget that she had left the hose running in her garden. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, she would forget to leave the water on, or, like, in the kitchen, she'd leave the sink on. Um, maybe, I think she had left the stove on once before. Um, she would, like, do the dishes, and it would just kind of be like unorganized. It was never how like it should have been or the way that she would have done it. Um, she didn't have that much trouble with names. Um, now she does a lot. Uh, it really it wasn't that bad of stuff. It really wasn't. Um, and I think that just as the years have progressed, it really has changed. Um, now, and this past year, it has been the hardest, um, and, uh, um, there's been a lot of changes in her that it's really sad, um, you know, some of the things that she has to go through, and I see her struggling with each and every day, have, trying to get out of bed, um, go and walk to her nice little chair that's in the living room, and eat. Um, her speaking now, she has forgotten a lot of English. She speaks a lot of Italian now. And because I am, don't know a lot of Italian, I don't know what she's saying half the time she's talking, so I just kind of got to wing it. Um, the repeating, she repeats herself a lot. Um, she, I know she's forgotten my name. Um, she's forgotten my siblings' names. I think she only knows my parents' names. Um, probably because, you know, they've been there the longest. Um, what else? Um, she calls out for my grandfather's name a lot, Angelo. Um, but he passed away about eight years ago. So, um, I think that one of the hardest things having to go through with all this is seeing her, like, walk up and down the hallway and she'll look at you, like, with those eyes that you know aren't, like, she doesn't know you. Like, you look at her and you smile, but, like, she just kind of looks at you and then just looks away. And she just kind of, like, is like, oh, okay, whatever. I think that's what, like, it's like stinks because after all like the time that we've been here taking care of you and then you just kind of uh, stinks 
Um, so that's happened a lot now. Um, she's really forgotten how to use a fork. Um, she eats with her hands a lot now. Uh, gosh, what else? Um, but talking, she doesn't talk in English. I know I said that. She likes to walk. She does like laps around the house. She'll just walk and kind of talk to herself. Um, as long as she's happy. I mean, um, we try and, you know, my family, we take her out to the park to go and walk and we take her out as much as we can. It's kind of gone to that point though where it's kind of hard to because like she tends to make a scene um, either by getting upset she gets really agitated when there's lots of people around and she doesn't know what's going on. Um, that's always really troubling so we can't really take her in really cr crowded areas. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, gosh, what else? <sighs> I feel like there's so much that it's really hard to just think of it all at once because it's like so much and a lot of it I just try to forget. Been there, done that, it's out, out. Um, because now my whole focus is just trying to focus on now, take care of her needs now, um, and in hopes that, you know, in hopes that everything will just be okay. Um, I know nothing at this point is going to get better. I know that for a fact. But at least we're trying. Um, so this is kind of my spiel on Alzheimer's, um, I mean, jeez, I hate that she had to come down with this disease, um, it's really been tragic and she's the last person I would have wanted to see come down with this, um, but, I mean, watching her struggle is like, it's rough, but then you just kind of realize, like, how strong she is and how strong you have to be. And it has definitely shaped me as a person. And <laughs> I know I said in the last video that it has really given me a passion to work with people. I mean, just taking her out for walks to the park. And sometimes we can have like an actual conversation about the weather and how nice the weather looks. That's wonderful to me. Because we can't talk about that a lot because she doesn't know how anymore. Um, watching I Love Lucy, that's one of her favorite shows. And she laughs at it every time. And uh, one of my favorite things to see is her just smile because I don't see it a lot anymore. Um, man, so it's been a rough journey and I know that it'll be a rough journey still, but I'm here to just spread the word about Alzheimer's because it needs to be spread. <laughs> and I figured that because I've been doing this for a while that it's time to finally get it out there. So, please let me know what you think. Um, feel free to comment, whatever, whatever you want. Um, I would love to get back to you. I'll make more videos for you guys. Whatever you want me to do, I'm happy to do it. So, anyways, thank you so much for listening. If you had to listen to this whole 14 minutes now, <laughs> I'll be talking about Alzheimer's disease. But um, yeah, I mean, thank you so much for watching and. Let me know what you think, so thank you again. <laughs>